think my very first vacant, I literally spent probably four hours hanging all the art because I was like measuring everything and like then measuring the walls and like I think I even brought my husband in. I was like crying. You just take, you know, colored masking tape. It, that is important actually because you can't just use any kind of tape because um, it will tear the paint off the wall. So it needs to be painter's tape or masking tape. It won't rip paint off. The trick is that you put the tape where the nail goes and then you level the tape, not the not the art. Art should be hung at about the average person's height eye level, so I think that's like 65 inches, which is great for me because I'm short, but I notice like my girls who are taller, they tend to go higher, and so they have to remember that it's not their eye level, it's the average person, so it should be hung about 65 inches from the floor. If that's the right height, it probably actually is. Yeah. And then you take the tape and put that on the wall where it goes, and you level the tape. So this is level, the level is level. Now, the tape is level. They're both level. So when you put the nail in, just go at a slight angle in case you're just slightly off, and you can just down. Go in straight even, and then you try and lower it. It's gonna put a big hole in the wall. So once you have the tape up and you have the tape level, then you take the nail and hammer and put the holes in. Um, and then hopefully when you hang the art, it should be level. Yeah. Okay, good. Looks good. Looks good. I hope this tip helps you to be able to hang art at home without putting too many holes in your wall.